the house will be in order. With the pound of that gavel, Iowa lawmakers hit the ground running. Several hot button issues are already heating up in the state house, and it's only day two. Most have to do with COVID-19, like the workforce shortage. Governor Kim Reynolds is expected to touch on them in her condition of the state address tonight. KCCI's Bo Bowman is live at the state house this morning. Bo, what are lawmakers hoping to hear from the governor tonight? Well, Governor Reynolds has already announced a plan to to. Uh, announce a comprehensive bill to combat this workforce shortage. She's been working on that this uh, staffing shortage across the state since October. The topic is expected to be a big part of her speech tonight as lawmakers met for the first time in 2022. Senate, Senate President Jake Chapman tells KCCI there is no silver bullet, but there are a lot of things they can do to get people back to work. He says building a better quality of life, cutting taxes, providing affordable housing and child care could all be tackled this session to combat the workforce crisis. Democrats, we met with agree attracting people to the state is key, but at least one representative says the Republicans, the Republican agenda doesn't do that. They've got to feel welcome and they've got to know that we are doing everything we can as legislators to keep them safe, to create opportunities for every Iowan, not some of the bills that we've heard about potentially coming up that uh, really say that uh, we're unwelcome. In Iowa is not alone in the need to, to have people. We have jobs, we have lots of jobs, but we need more people. Governor Reynolds will make her remarks later tonight at 6 o'clock. That's the condition of the state address. You can watch it live on PBS. We're live at the State House. Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.